Hey guys, welcome to Raw Customs. I'm your host, Patrick Pohl, and on this episode, we're going to be making some tactical bicep armor. Now, if you haven't been following me, and you should, I have been working on what I have dubbed tactical armor. And the idea behind this is to have a suit of armor from shoulders down to your feet that's universal, that allows you to make minor modifications to, paint up in different ways, put different symbols on so that you can design it to fit whatever character you're working on. So on the bicep piece, it is scalable, guys. If you notice, I've designed the back base piece to slide behind the front piece. That way you can shrink it in. Now the back overlay piece has long legs right on the end. This will allow you to cut this off so that you can scale that down to fit as well. So I have three sizes on the biceps, guys. I have the large, which is going to fit a 17 inch around bicep down to, I would say 13, maybe 12 and a half on this one, guys. Size two is going to be a medium. I would say a 12 inch bicep or smaller, I would go with this one. And then I will have one more, which will be a smaller one, which will be a general kid size for you guys. Now, when you're scaling your armor, guys, I actually recommend leaving it loose. I like to actually be able to slide my hand up in there. That's how loose I like it. That way, if I'm wearing different types of shirts, it'll still slide up and fit on top of there. Now, to take up that extra space and make it fit tight, I recommend using poly foam to glue in there. This allows you to slide this thing up and get it to fit snugly and to stay in place because this fits nice and tight and does not like to slide. Okay guys, so I've got kits as well as templates. If you're interested in either one, you can find links in the description area below. For now, let's get to the build. For this build, you'll need the kit or the templates. If you go with the templates, you'll need two sheets of five millimeter EVA foam. Recommended supplies and tools for this build are Plasti Dip, Spray Paint, Contact Cement, A Heat Gun, A Glue Gun, a rotary tool, a razor knife, and an airbrush. With the pieces for your left and right arm, you have your base back piece, your base overlay, the front base piece, and the front overlay. Now the kit is meant to be universal and for you to design it any way you like. Me personally, I like the way bevels look. So here on the front overlay, I'm adding a bevel all the way around around half the thickness of the foam I generally refer to this as a half bevel but you could round over the edges if you want or even leave it as is on the front base piece I'm going to add a half bevel all the way around as well for gluing your pieces together I recommend contact cement on the base piece, apply glue to the top surface area inside the reference lines. On your overlay piece, apply glue to the entire bottom surface area. It generally takes around 5 minutes for your glue to set up. Once the glue is set up, your pieces can be pressed together. Make sure the bottom base piece is flat and bow your overlay piece down. Line up your points in the center and press the piece down. Glue down your piece working from the center and allow it to roll out to the top and bottom. Next use a heat gun to heat the section top and bottom. With your pieces well heated, mold them over something round. The goal here is to bubble up that center, kind of give it that bicep look. This isn't a necessary step, but I think you'll agree it gives this piece a better look and some character. Before the piece completely cools, give it a small bow and slightly bend down the sides. On the back base piece, there's a curved cutout on the bottom and top. The cutout that's centered is the bottom of your piece. Now to match the look of the front section, I'm going to add a half bevel to the top and bottom of this piece. 
Once your piece is prepped the way you want, use a heat gun to heat the piece top and bottom. And then mold it over something round. Once again, we're looking for that rounded bubble look in the center. Here, your focus should be just on the center of this piece. Don't really worry about the ends at this point. At this point, you're going to want to size the two pieces to fit your arm. And I highly recommend having somebody help you with this part of the build. But if you don't have someone to help, you can be like me and do it the hard way. By wrapping the back base piece around the back of your arm and using some tape to hold it in place. Once the back piece is in place, line up the front section. You'll want to center the front section and make a reference mark along the outside edge under the base piece. Now take the piece off your arm, use a ruler to measure and transfer your mark from the top to the bottom, then line the ruler up with your marks and make a reference line. Then transfer the measurements to the other side and mark a reference line on that side as well. You want the measurements to be the same on both sides. That way when you glue your pieces together everything will be centered. On your front section flip the piece over to the back side, transfer your measurements to each side and mark your reference lines. On the back base piece, there's a center point mark on each side. Transfer the mark to your reference line. On the front section, use the center corner as your reference and make a mark on the outside edge. Apply glue to your marked areas along your reference lines. Now take the base section and bow one of the ends so that the center is higher than the sides. Then line up the center point on both pieces and press the pieces together starting in the center and working your way out to each end following your reference lines. Then repeat the process on the other side. Next you'll want to grab the back overlay piece. Now's the best time to round over the edges, bevel, or make whatever changes you want to this section. There are center points on the back base piece. You'll want to line these up with the center line that is on the overlay that are on the top and bottom of the cutout area in the center. Then line up the top and bottom edges of the cutout with the reference lines on the base piece. This will allow you to properly center the overlay. Once you have the overlay centered, you can use tape on each end to hold the piece in place. Hold the ends of the overlay down where they're touching the front section. The end will most likely be overlapping the edge. Make a mark where it will line up even with the back edge of the front piece on each end of the overlay. Once your ends are marked, you can use a razor to cut off the extra. Then use a rotary tool to clean up your edges. Now use a heat gun to heat up the overlay and then mold it to the back piece. Now you can tape the overlay back in place and mark reference lines. You'll want to mark each end on the center cutout, top and bottom, and the centers on each end. Once you have everything marked, apply your glue inside your reference lines and to the back surface area of the overlay. Press your pieces together starting in the center. Line up your center points and work from the center out to each end.
Now you'll want to seal the foam for paint. I recommend using Plasti Dip. I generally use two light coats followed by two heavy coats. Once the Plasti Dip is dry, you can apply your base coat. Again, I use two light coats here followed by one to two heavy coats. To add the details, I like to use an airbrush, but you could also just use a regular paintbrush. Once all the detail work is done, I like to finish the project up with two coats of clear. Now to make your bicep piece fit snug and keep from sliding down on your arm, I recommend using polyfoam. The foam I'm using is one inch thick and I'm just cutting a couple of small sections to fit in the front and back on the inside. To hold the polyfoam in place, I recommend using hot glue. Just add a generous amount to one side of the foam and glue it in place where it works best for you. All right guys, there you go, the tactical bicep armor. I try to add just enough detail without going overboard on this piece. These are actually painted up to go with the Captain America costume I'm working on. You can see I got the bicep going with the gauntlet. Now these are the exact same pieces that I'm using on the Batman. The only difference right now is the gauntlet itself where I've added the fins for the Batman costume. But you can see how much of a difference that you can get just changing your color scheme and how much of a difference it actually makes. Now, since we are working on the tactical armor, I have a couple more pieces I'd like to share with you that I am working on. One being the thigh armor. And this is going to have straps and you'll be able to strap it where it lays on the side of your leg or in the front of your leg. Or you may be able to have a few more options where you could actually make this a shin guard or something along those lines now the other piece the other piece i'm working on is the actual shin armor i have it going all the way down to the foot so you'll have a flap that goes over the foot uh here i'm actually wanting to add a little bit more detail to this so kind of like these lines maybe maybe some of these type of things because i want these two pieces to match up a little bit better than they are right now before i put it out for you guys all right, guys, that's it for this episode. Good luck on your builds. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.